First, sign in with the username admin and the password that is provided in the setup section. Now, we will create the credentials that will be used by CircleCI to create Kubernetes cluster. Go to Credentials section and click Add Credentials. Credential type should be AWS Credential. The name must be AWS CircleCI Cred. This name was hard-coded into CircleCI's configuration for this demo. Then, provide your access and secret key and click Save Credentials. For the next step, let's create a new Docker repository. Go to hub.docker.com, sign in with your credentials, and click Create Repository. Set the name as CircleCI Demo. Then click Create. I will use the name docs docker forward slash CircleCI Demo later in the CircleCI configuration. CircleCI can only use their own repository, so fork the demo git repository. In the new browser, open the URL https colon forward slash forward slash github.com slash kubler slash demos and click fork. Now I can set up the build project on CircleCI. Go to the browser, open circleci.com and sign up with GitHub. Then start a project. Here you can see all my GitHub projects. Select Demos, then Setup Projects. The operating system should be Linux and Language Node.js. Then click Start Building. The first build failed because I should have provided some settings. Let's fix that. Go to Settings, then Security. Here, provide access to use third-party orbs as the build project is a Kubler orb. Now let's set Circle CI environment variables. Here is a list of variables. Docker Hub username and password. Image name variable that is used to push Docker image names. We will use the Docker repository name we created in the previous step. The Kubler endpoint can be found in the browser. For example, when you open Kubler platform, Go to Control Plane under Features. Here you will find the Kubler Platform endpoint. The link can be opened in a new tab to make it easier to copy. For Kubler username and password, go to Settings, then Projects. Click on the Settings cog and then click Environment Variables. Now click Add Variable and enter your variable name and value. Then click Add Variable once again. Now you will need to make one commit because CircleCI doesn't allow you to build a project without your own commit. Let's change the gitignore file. Open it and click Edit. Then, for example, let's add a zip file to ignore and commit the changes. That's it. Now let's go to the Circle CI build and check its status. It's running. This will take about 20 minutes as CircleCI must create a new Kubernetes cluster. You can check the status for every step. Now let's check the results. When you go to the Kubler platform, you can see a newly created Kubernetes cluster. Click on the cluster and open Kubernetes dashboard. Here you will see two pods with a deployed application. You can also see an HTTP service that provides access to the demo application.
CircleCI uses a special build script file, which you can find in the demos repository. Go to the .circleCI folder and open the config.yaml file. Here, you will find the following build steps. First, the script will check the environment variables. Then, it will check out the project. After that, install Node.js and build project dependencies. Run tests. Build environment variables that will be used later. Then, it will publish Docker image to Docker Hub. CircleCI build script uses the Kubler ORP, which serves as an extension, which provides access to the Kubler API to create Kubernetes clusters. This step is authentication for the Kubler platform. Then, the script will create a cluster according to cluster specification. The script will then wait until the cluster is created. Once that is done, it will download the Kubernetes config file and the Kubernetes client for deploying a new demo application in a newly created Kubernetes cluster. That's it. Thanks for watching.